Good morning, friends. Miss Heather here. Okay, let's start off with our good morning song. Good morning, friends. Good morning, friends. Good morning, friends. I'm glad you're watching today. Hello. Okay, today let's start off with saying our church words, and we are people of open minds, loving hearts, and helping hands. Good job! Okay, I have a story to read today that is called Who Sank the Boat? by Pamela Allen. Who sank the boat? Starts off with a beautiful picture. Beside the sea, on Mr. Peffer's place, there lived a cow, a donkey, a sheep, a pig, and a tiny little mouse. There's a little tiny mouse. They were good friends. And one warm sunny morning, for no particular reason, they decided to go for a row in the bay. Do you know who sank the boat? Was it the cow who almost fell in when she tilted the bow and made such a din? Uh oh. No, it wasn't the cow who fell in. Do you know who sank the boat? Was it the donkey who balanced her weight, who yelled, I'll get in the boat before it's too late? No, it wasn't the donkey who balanced her weight. Do you know who sank the boat? Was it the pig, as fat as butter, who stepped in at the side and caused a great flutter? Oh, it looks like it's about to sink. No, it wasn't the pig, as fat as butter. Do you know who sank the boat? That boat's looking like it's getting pretty full. Was it the sheep who knew where to sit to level the boat so she couldn't, so she could knit? No. It wasn't the sheep who knew where to sit. Do you know who sank the boat? Was it the little mouse, the last to get in, who was lightest of all? Could it be him? Hmm. See the mouse trying to jump in up there. You do know who sank the boat. Do you see 
See that mouse way up there? Right there. And look, the boat crashed and sank. Uh-oh. They're all wet walking back. Look at Look at all them dripping wet. And here comes the little tiny mouse running behind. The end. Isn't that silly? In the beginning, I would have thought one of the big animals sank the boat. But it was the little tiny mouse who got in last who sank the boat. Now, a fun activity that we could talk about that I love to do is called sink or float to kind of go along with this book. And so at home, you guys could use like a little bit of water in the bathtub or a bowl of water, a tub, any type of tote or anything you want to put water in and play the sink or float game with your kids. And you could even like make it fun and graph to see what sank, what float and see why some things sink and float. So I have a bowl of water here and a couple objects. We're going to see if they sink or if they float. All right, we're going to start off with the plastic toy horse. Is it going to sink or is it going to float? It's kind of light. I'm going to say float. And it floated. See the horse in there floating? Okay, let's try something else. I have... A ball. It's going to sink or is it going to float? It's floating too. That ball is pretty light. Let's see, I have, oh, I have a sperm whale. It's kind of big. I think this one might sink. It's a little heavy. Let's see. Oh, he sank right to the bottom. You see him in there? Okay, I'm gonna move him out of the way to make room for the rest of my stuff. Okay. Oh, and here I have, is this an orca? We're gonna see if the orca sinks or float. Maybe it'll sink like the other whale. <gasps> this whale floated! But that whale's also a lot lighter than the other whale. Okay, oh, I have a little tiny seahorse. Look at that. My son loves sea creatures. Okay, let's see. Do you think it's gonna sink or float? Ready? Oh my gosh, look. That little tiny seahorse sunk, but the horse is bigger and it floated. Do you guys know why that is? Sometimes things will sink or float if they are more or less dense than water. Oh, here is a sea cucumber. Normally, I think this would float, but because the little tiny seahorse sank, I think this one might sink too. Let's try. Oh, I was right. The sea cucumber decided to sink too. And I only knew that that was a sea cucumber because my son collects and tells me all of the sea creatures' names while we watch Octonauts. It's a very educational, fun show. Here's a little tiny fish. This thing's real light, so I think this one's actually going to float. Yep, he went right to the top there. All right, we have two more objects. I have a little white rabbit. Oh, and here's Mr. Inkling from the Octonauts. Ready? Let's do two at one. One, two, three. And they both floated. Awesome. So we had a few objects that float because they are less dense than the water and a few objects that sink the bottom there because they are more dense than water. Okay. I had so much fun reading and showing you guys a fun activity. I miss you all so much, and I can't wait to see you soon. Bye, friends.